Okay, I'm here with Janet from Occupy the Roads uh, truck, and you were in the trial today for Bradley Manning here in Mort Field, Fort Meade. Actually, um, it was interesting. We, we weren't allowed in in the morning because we got there late, so they put us in a holding room. We stayed there till lunch, <laughs> so we missed the whole morning. But my understanding is that it didn't start till 10, so we didn't really miss much. But the afternoon, it was really just the prosecution and the defense getting up and deciding what exactly these words meant. Like, um, you know, when he, did he knowingly give information to the e enemy? So when you give information to a third party, is that knowingly giving information to the enemy? Because there's no, there's no guarantee that it's going to be posted. So when he gave, allegedly gave the information to WikiLeaks, did did he know that it was going to, to go out there? And then the same thing came up, and that's that uh, there's no, the government won't prove that the information that was allegedly put out there was damaging. So they don't want to provide the information. So it's the same thing. It's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. But to me, this was just the lawyers going back and forth on whether it was, um, oh, what was the term? Reckless endangerment or something like that, which is like 10 years versus the death penalty or, or life in prison. So that's what they're trying to iron out now, is did he knowingly, and, and to me, if if they stifle this just because it's government, if nobody's allowed to give information about wrongdoing to the press, that's a slippery slope. That's going to be a really harsh thing, because then if somebody gives information to the Wall Street Journal or the Times or whatever, can they too be charged? I know it's, you know, I know it's the army and I know it's, you know, considered classified, but the thing is, it is wrongdoing. Allegedly, he's outed them, and so now they're just trying to decide at what, at what price will he pay, basically. So there's some conversation that it could be 10 years with time served, some time served. Yeah, and I think that's the minimum, and I, and I got the, for the gist of it, that's what I got, that they were trying to argue that it was really the, the minor Okay. Things. And so... Um, but it's, it's long and drawn out, and it's the play on words. Well, what is exactly does wanting mean, and what does this mean? And after a while, you're just like, oh my god. I mean, <laughs> you know, the common sense element seems got lost. It's just who can outdo each other with legal jargon. Right. Okay. Yeah, which is, Sad because that's the root of it all is this wonderful guy who did what he thought was the right thing. And it's a shame that he's being used as a pawn in this, in this you know, whole scheme of the army, the, the government versus the people. That's how I look at it. The government versus the people. Right. You know, what's your First Amendment right? What are your rights as a, as a, as a person? And apparently, you know, you have less and less. Right. Moral interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm not even sure if we want to stay around because it's so long and drawn out with each lawyer trying to convince the other of what the, what the process should be or what the words mean that it loses sight of, you know, let's have some evidence, let's, you know, let's move on. But I guess this part right here is to determine what the charges will be and what, you know. Well, it sounds like an important aspect of... Yes. Which charge they'll be going after? And but when you listen to them, you just go round and round. Right. You start to do the head. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Tino was telling me about uh, the place in Colorado. You yeah, want to talk about that a little bit? We had a property donated. Um, we followed a young, not a young man, a, a man out to this area that was all boarded up, and we watched him talk about you know what they could do if they had property. And Property that had a community garden and then another property. Both the properties on either side of the community garden were boarded up. The community garden was actually beautiful. And uh, so I just wrote to the owners of the houses surrounding and one wrote back and said, Yeah, you can have the property. So, so and it's a 1800, late 1800s uh, red brick house, which is restored.
structurally fine. It doesn't have any plumbing or anything. We've taken out the, the top or anything, but, but we've got a good work party coming together to fix it up in the second week of August, and uh, it's pretty amazing how people have offered to help. And some ladies downsizing has offered her stuff so that we could sell it and put a roof on, and, and it's just been amazing. That sounds so awesome. Like so Southern Col Colorado headquarters. That's great. In which we intend to do lots of good things. <laughs> I look forward to seeing it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Janet. You're